Okay, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever time that you're watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. I am Richard Taylor, coming with a quick video. Um, as you see, what we're going to be talking about uh, on this computer screen right here. But first, let me just say Happy New Year. It's about 1019. So I know everybody's probably about to be going out drinking and, you know, having a ball, having, you know, eating, going to church, whatever you're doing. I hope everybody has a prosperous new year. But one thing about the new year is always two things, rather. People always, you know, make those resolutions. But also people say, you know, this is what I'm going to leave in 2023, right? Or I hope, you know, we leave such and such back in 2023. So this video right here is something that I hope we leave back in 2023. Now I'm going to show this to you real quick. And this is something, like I said, I hope everybody uh, leaves in 2023. 23. It's a short video, about 20, 20 seconds. So bear with me, please. So. What you saw right there was something I hope that we leave in 2023. Now, this video was sent to me by an anonymous person. And from the details that I was given, those two individual ladies were in a nail shop. Now, apparently, uh, these individual ladies, as you see, um, had some type of previous altercation or previous beef now from my understanding um the woman who looks like she's the aggressor in the picture um was actually allegedly assaulted by the lady who's apparently in the headlock right there um she was assaulted by her and her friends um, at an earlier date. And so what was told to me was, was that, you know, the two young ladies saw each other at the nail shop and they, you know, exchanged some words or whatever. And then, you know, this is what happened. Now, mind you, this is in a public place. Um, first, if you see the little strap right there, um, I was like, well, what is she doing with a seatbelt on in uh, the um, in, in, in the nail salon chair, but evidently that was the young lady's pocketbook. But as you can see, they were, you know, kind of in a knock drown, drag out, you know, kind of fight in a public place. Now, I want to play it again so we can, you know, do a little bit more analyzing. But what's most disturbing is, once again, the public display of, you know, for lack of a better word, ratchetness in these public institutions. Now, I think it was last week I showed a video about some other ladies engaging in an altercation at a Waffle House in Goldsboro, North Carolina. So here we have uh, two young ladies engaging in an altercation in a Chinese nail salon. And, and I guess that's stereotypical, you know, but I assume it was owned by, you know, Asians. So or, or Chinese or Koreans, which, you know, let's be honest, most of the nail shops are. Um, but nevertheless, what's also disturbing about this video is the fact that there are no regard for the children uh, who are crying, who are, you know, being traumatized probably by this. Now, I'm not sure whose children uh, those children were, but evidently, if I'm not mistaken, according to some information, they belong to one of the young ladies uh, who was in the altercation. Now, that once again is just, it's, it's baffling to me. And I hope, I, you know, I hate to seem like the old guy or something like that. But, you know, um, this, this behavior doesn't reflect very good 
um, on us, especially as, you know, African-American people now. I remember a couple of years back where, you know, um, women, especially black women, were complaining about their treatment in Chinese nail shops. You know, one, one Chinese, uh, I think, uh, nail owner assaulted a lady with a bat or, or a broom or something, and it was a big fallout about that. But yet and still, um, we still continue to go there. That's a whole nother story. But yet and still, you know, we perpetrate these actions. And I know those are totally separate instances, but uh, it gives a perception on all of us when these things occur. Um, so, you know, in the video, you don't see any of the, uh, I guess, proprietors or the owner of the establishment going around trying to break it up. Probably, you know, they, they were terrified. Now, if you like, let's, let's watch it again real quick. Cause that lady was throwing some, um, some bolos or haymakers as, as we used to call them. Hold on. Let's, let's see this again. Okay, and so also you see um, in that portion, basically, you know, the lady who was sitting down tried to get up and she started slipping and sliding. And, you know, the, the, the girl, you know, got on top of her and she was beating her like I told you, I told you. So that lead, leads credence to, you know, a previous altercation uh, that they may have had. But what I found... Um, <laughs> interesting and i shouldn't be laughing at this because it's really not a laughing matter it's actually a sad matter i hope both of those ladies you know um are all right but also you know hope both of those ladies you know be able to reconsider and reevaluate their behavior especially you know if they have children um to raise but you know one thing that the uh was funny to me was that the aggressor you know when when when, when the young lady got up and she was like hold on <laughs> You know, the, I guess the young lady without the shoes got her foot in, and, and, and it seemed like she may, she may have been getting the other hand. Uh, the girl in the, the, who was the aggressor immediately said, get her off of me, get her, get her off me, get her off me. So uh, she didn't have that same energy um, when, um, you know, the, as they say, she didn't have that same energy when the rabbit had the gun, you know, the proverbial gun in this case, you know, uh, had the upper hand in the fight. But, you know, once again, this this is this is no laughing matter because once again, there are young children uh, watching their mothers, and you know, as a as a father of a daughter, and you know, as as the brother of two sisters, as a son of a mother, as a nephew of aunts, you know, um, you know, I, I've I've always watched the women I knew for the most part carry themselves in a very ladylike manner now. Um, as we seen, like I said, from last week's videos, you can search the internet and find women fighting and, and scuffling and doing all types of, you know, um, aggressive actions all over the internet. So I don't know if this is the thing or this is just, you know, the way society is going or if it is a reflection on the overall, you know, dysfunction and, and, and violent nature, uh, of society. Um, so um, but you know this 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 was sent to me and I and I felt I had to address it because once again I just made a video um, last week uh, about you know some ladies who were at the Waffle House and you know a, a, a royal rumble looked like broke out and you can go back and watch that video that's only you know that's only about a ten minute video as well I'm trying to keep this short as well but I definitely wanted um, to shed light on this because I hope that we leave this in 2023 there's no reason where you know women or or, or or even other patrons in the shop think about the other patrons in the shop you know who may have been just trying to have a stress-free day trying to get you know a a, a manny and a petty as they say you know uh or, or, or other people who may have had children there just trying to enjoy themselves and now their day is run ruined they're put in danger because as you see these uh, situations can often escalate, you know, to, to other acts of violence. So um, we have to be very, uh, very wary of the way we conduct ourselves. So once again, I, I don't know these ladies. I wish both of these ladies the best, but this is just an example 
of something that we should leave in 2023. And again, for um, you know, just 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 to just just to reemphasize, what are we leaving? I'm gonna play it one more time, and then I'm gonna let you guys go. Hopefully, um, you know, once again, these ladies are all right, and this this video may help them to see um, the overall debauchery of their ways. But here we go once once more. Let me see if you play it one more time. See that you see the children kind of coming to the rescue, and she's definitely, you know, throwing some haymakers. And then you see the children in the background, and now see now that's when she start copping glee, saying, "Get her off me, get her off me." And if I, if I'm not mistaken from the information that I received, that you know it was her friend uh, who was doing the recording, so that's probably why the recording ended because her friend had to jump in and help her after she, you know, maybe um, lost the upper hand of the battle, you know. So, um, you know, this is, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is, this is something uh, that is, that is definitely a blight sustained, you know, on those, you know, on, on the overall um, perception of womanhood, especially black womanhood in America uh, and, 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 and in the so-called, you know, hood or whatever, um, you know, we have to do better um you know just we, we we have to do better with setting examples of what it means to be a woman because we always you know we 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 women always want to be uh protected and also as men as real men we also uh want to protect our woman as well but there's no way we can protect that you know we you know we 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 we'll protect you if you know you, somebody's assaulting you or somebody accosting you but you know, when you're out in public causing, you know, disruption, causing, you know, um, you know, destruction to property, you know, they, 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 in the, they in that establishment messing them people stuff up, you know, with no regards, you know, be, and, and that once again speaks to the overall thing, because if you had a shop or if you had a business or if you had a restaurant, you had a, a hair salon, you know what it means to maintain and you know, keep a place up. So therefore you wouldn't go into anybody else's places and, you know, tear their stuff up basically. You know what I'm saying? And and I don't know if any property damage was done, but you know, this is it's just a, a level of respect um that, that needs to be shown in these public places. So, you know, hopefully, um once again this 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 is left in two thousand twenty three. Once again, you know my number nine one nine five eight seven 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 eight two if anything that i said in this video was kind of un untrue or speculated once again i don't know any one of these uh, individuals so feel free to correct me but once again i hope um those ladies you know make this their last effort like that and leave it in 2023 and uh, once again i hope the best for those children uh who you know had to witness this um, you know, because we heard and we saw, you know, what it did to them. You know, these are once again, I, I assume these are two grown, able adults that are, you know, supposed to be setting an example and protecting their kids. But, you know, they're putting their children in harm's way or, you know, they're putting children in harm's way uh, by their actions. So uh, peace and love, blessings to all. Um, I'm going to get back with y'all once again. Have a happy new year. Stay safe. Love, peace, and blessings. Um, you know, as you see, I'm still uh, on, 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 on the road, um, you know, dealing with a personal situation. But, you know, hopefully all things will work together for the good. But peace and blessings. I'm out, Richard Taylor.